Without getting older, it feels very weird. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. I'm growing old and looking for kids with unruly haircuts. Woo! Taking what comfort we can. Guys, come on, man! Yeah. Dude, back the fuck up! Yeah. Everybody, you're like, get in, he's gonna fucking fall over. Can you, like, yeah. everybody take one step the fuck back? Please. Thank you! Thank you! Yeah. Also, for the sake of the people in the front row who like, like, I'm I mean, gonna slam into his face. Yeah. I don't fucking believe you know, I'm one take guy with an acoustic guitar. Back. If I came to the show, I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, I'll probably have to, like, mosh hard in order to watch this band. <laughs> My proposal would be, people who want to mosh, there's probably some room in the back, and they can do that with each other, and that would be great. Um, and the people who just want to watch wouldn't have to do it. That would be my proposal. Uh, obviously, I can't make you do that. But... I'm growing old in the room full of kids with unruly haircuts. Taking what comfort we can. And the fact that every empire's days are numbered, man. But I don't think that I can count that high. I should have paid better attention in school or something. Cause I feel like there's something that I don't know. And if I could just jam it into my skull, I could stand to live somehow. But I don't know. And the fact is I'm 2.7 decades in. To a growing ambivalence. I can count on no hands how many fucks I've given. Or is it a million? Are God and void equivalents? Are we making total destroy or just making a living? And I know that Rome wasn't built in a day. But it could have been more than a week. And I know that the children of barbarians become the new tax collectors and priests. So I don't know. I suppose we've been rolling since the world was round and time makes dust of what we can't tear down. I suppose that dead bodies make soil of the ground. So what about what we do now? Growing old in rooms full of kids with unruly haircuts Taking what comfort we can In the fact that every empire's days are numbered, man But I don't think I can count that high
I got a couple more. Thank you all very much for being here. Um, I have uh, I have shirts and CDs and stuff. Everything I sell is by donation. So whatever your financial uh, situation, you can you you can have any of the things that you want. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm nihilist or religious or if there's even a difference. If God made the West Texas Highway, I guess there probably isn't. There's a darkness in my bones. It reaches all the way down to the mud. There's a spark that's in your eyes and catches flame. And it burns all through my blood. Every friend locked up, berated, it's reason enough to go all in, to raise the stakes, to call the bluff, to burn all the world down for the sake of the ash, for the things that we've got coming through the storm of gasoline and broken glass. Morning, I can't tell if I'm mad or kissed or religious or if there's even a difference. If I'm waiting for the right time to act well, I guess there probably isn't. There's a darkness in my bones, it reaches all the way down to the mud. And there's a spark that's in your eyes and catches flame. And it burns all through my blood. about, um, well, it was partly about driving across Texas, which, which is quite a thing to do, um, but it's also, you know, it was also about people getting locked up, you know, uh, uh, you know, people close to me being, uh, being, being, being coerced by the state in various ways, getting arrested, going to prison, having their houses raided, things like Woo! that. Um, I, I, for, I, for a while, have been involved in a Pour very, for them. have been, in, have been involved in a very, uh, very sort of unusual endeavor. Um, I am, I am one of, I am one of a couple of people who, uh, uh, who believes that Spending a lot of time trying to think about how to make a, a free and just society is like a thing to do. Yeah! Yeah! It's so hard. It's so hard. It is. Not many people really spend a lot of time, you know, sort of like thinking of themselves someone who does that. It makes a lot of sense because it's very difficult to do, and also the people who do decide that they want to do it, I, I, I go back and forth on whether we're on to anything or whether we're like the biggest idiots in the world. Yo, try it. Try it. But all the, you know, but all of that. All that being said, you know, I, I think I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah, absolutely. I think there is something beautiful about the struggle. And when there I was is. younger, I used to think that there would be something called the revolution that would happen in a moment and would it would it would wash away oppression. The older I get, the less that I believe that this is possible. But I believe that there is something beautiful in the struggle against oppression in all forms. And so this song is about um, the moments where we get to fight because that might be all that we get. The only thing that we might get is to be people who do not uh, who, do, who do not just accept the world as the way. Than it is, and, and at least yeah. try, and at least risk yeah. something in order to make something better. Yeah. Yeah. And so the song, the song is both about hope, but it is also about despair. Uh -oh. Woo! Or to make no 
word with me. I know there's not enough windows on this planet to break us free. But maybe one would be just enough for some dignity. So you know I didn't cut Pat off. The the video literally ends there. <coughs> it just sort of <coughs> that's the end. The guy who was recording it, I think, ran out of space. But either way. Uh, <coughs> oh, I'm tired tonight. I'm tired tonight. Dude, and I got an early morning tomorrow, and tomorrow's going to be a late day with the fucking evening show, and then late movie night, and oh, god damn. Tomorrow's going to be a very long day for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Interesting. All right. It looks exactly like how he, like how he sounds. Yes, uh, I I think so. I I think Pat looks like Pat, but I've been seeing him for a lot of years, so you know, <laughs> Pat definitely looks like Pat to me. Um, but yeah. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, yeah. Let me close that. Let me open that. Uh, we got a we got a couple of tier lists we could do. We got um, fucking. I mean, we could talk some fucking dudes, but I mean, really, um, do we? The only thing we're talking about. Um, uh, well, there's a couple of fucking lines, I suppose. Um, this one was funny though. Uh, ah, hey Zartos, I'm just getting started. We're just warming up. Um, I mean, is is Missouri? Missouri is not like a legal state, is it? So that's that's just like that's that's an illicit shipment. Uh, for uh, yes, you are correct, Beast. The police, um, the police did in fact transport a full two hundred and fifty pounds to the station, um, and as it was checked in, the full and appropriate a hundred pounds was logged into the evidence chamber. Um, I'm sure when it gets checked out for court, the 25 pounds that was part of that crash will make its way to the evidentiary process. And when they destroy the um, 12 ounces of uh, cannabis that was spilled that day uh, in the burn pile, I'm sure a full six grams will make it into that furnace. Yeah. Um, 
Yes. That's how it works. It's how it fucking works. Dude, they've been caught too many times doing that shit. They've been caught too many times doing that shit. Dude, that 500 pounds fucking just became 400 pounds, became 200 pounds, became... That's how that shit works. Oh, fucking A. Um, so, like, the like the primary Starbucks store, like, the Starbucks store, but did you know there was a Starbucks store? Like, the one, right? Like, apparently the one where it all sort of thing, right? Uh, it's in Seattle, of course. Um, Seattle has a lot to answer for, in my opinion. <laughs> Um, the, um, the, the Starbucks store, um, they voted in favor of unionization. Like, the Starbucks store is unionizing. <laughs> uh, I mean, good for the workers. Good for the workers. This is, I've said this before. Like, I, I'm happy for the workers. Just don't keep your, don't take your fucking eye off the ball. Don't get fat and sated. That's my issue. That's, that's my issue. Is I, I, I'm concerned Americans are going to get some like basic union structure. They're going to throw them a bone for the first time in their lives. And we're going to be like a bunch of fucking neglected, abused puppies and shit. And we're just gonna be like, oh, yes. <laughs> you know, it's fucking, I can, I can, I can afford to not die of not being able to buy my insulin. Oh my God, this feels amazing. Right? Like, I, I, I'm concerned about that. I have long term. <laughs> Like strategic concerns about what will happen with the first step of any successes that we may achieve in this country. That like if we get a round of unionization and like there's a chunk of the fucking populace that all of a sudden, you know, isn't three jobs deep, but is in fact only one job deep, right? Like does it, is that going to fucking sate these people? And they're just going to be like, oh, you know what? Eh, capitalism's not that bad. See, you can you can manipulate it. I, that's, that's my concern, at least. Uh, a lot of people forget that after making a union, you still have to contract. Dis uh, you have the contract discussions to go through. Yeah, dude, you still got to argue. You still got to argue with management over and over and over and over and over again. Like, that's that's a thing. But yeah, I, I'm 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 just looking at like long term because this is what you know. Bread and circuses works really well on us. It works really well on humans, but it works really well on Americans. You give us, you throw us a little bit of entertainment, dude. Just give us that fucking Marvel dick, yeah. Just give it, give me, give me, get you get. You got a hit of Star Wars. You got like you got some of that Star Wars for me, huh? You got you got some new. Oh, you got like twelve episodes. Oh fuck yeah, fuck yeah! I mean, I can I can barely afford rent and ramen, but dude, you got that fucking Mandalorian shit? Oh fuck yeah! Just calling it like I see it. Just calling it like I see it. That shit, that shit's an opiate, man. That shit's an opiate of the masses. It's as near as religious as anything in this country to some extent or another. They hold mass. They fucking you know. They got their own in language. They've got like, yeah, dude, and it fucking it tamps it down for a little bit. Fucking when that shit kicks off, like some baby Yoda shit. Yeah, you know what? Will you give us some baby Yoda, and we'll we'll stop complaining about you fucking us with sandpaper for like you know, a few weeks at least. What's it worth to you to keep the masses enslaved further? What's that? What's that worth? A few billion. What's it cost to make one of those TV shows? Two hundred fifty million per season, or more? What half a billion? They got it. What's it worth to you? Yeah, I dude, that shit's sketchy. That shit's sketchy. <laughs> I dude, that's that's my that's my version of Joe Rogan. That's my version of conspiracy theory, right there. That's somewhere. At, what's up, Venture? Somewhere, at some level, somebody's having that conversation, right? That's not, that's not wholly innocent. That's not just some, like, corporate machination. Dude, there's... What's the whole point of buying a think tank if you don't get up to shit like that? Seriously. What's it cost to fucking set up a think tank, right? Like, what do you think those fucks are, that those things are for? Like, <laughs> that's... That's social manipulation. That's government economic 
like financial intertwinings of manipulative systems, right? That whole thing is there to like figure out really complex topics and figure out how they can push the buttons or pull uh, pull the levers necessary to get that job done. That shit's fucked up. Like you, somebody's up to something at some level, right? Like, yeah. I don't think it's that far-fetched either, a resolution. Like, we know there's, we know there's conspiracy, right? Like, we know there's conspiracy. That's this, that's what happens at golf courses. That's what, what fraternities are about. That's what these fucking, like, clubs and things that all of these people, and gr- these you know, wealthy and powerful people tend to belong to. It's so they can glad hand and get to know each other. Oh, you're super powerful? I'm super powerful. How can we make each other more? How can I make me more super powerful uh, using you? Oh, yeah, and you, you'll, you'll get some super powerful too, I'm sure. We'll all get super powerful. Like, that's... That's what that's about. That's just logical. That's logical. Like interests align. That's it. You don't need to, if I'm fucking, if I'm a billionaire, if I do what's good for me, generally speaking, it will be good for other billionaires. Unless I'm targeting somebody or something specifically, as far as that works, if I'm like, a fucking billionaire and I do some shit that can make me an additional $250 million a year by some like weird financial IRS tax system, fucking corporate bullshit, bureau- bureaucratic nonsense, you know, a year, dude, the chances are other billionaires can take advantage of that somehow. Like that's just, you don't need a formal conspiracy. Like when like interests align, it's that simple. You don't even have to have sit down and have a nefarious meeting. It's just. Uh, Pound coin. (laughs) Want to see hilariously openly corrupt and partisan think tank. Check out the taxpayers alliance in the UK. You know what? I will. Let's do that. Why not? It's described as a pressure group. Interesting. Um, what we got? The Taxpayers Alliance is a pressure group. That's just, just out of curiosity. Let's do this. Okay, so it dumps into advocacy groups. Okay. In the UK, it was formed in 2004 to campaign for a low-tax society. So, backed by the Tories, I'd imagine. <clears throat> the group had about uh, 18,000 registered supporters as of 2008 and claimed to have 55 by 2010. Although it's been suggested the vast majority of these supporters who do not contribute financially or engage in campaigning were simply signed up to a mailing list. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. All right. So it was founded by some dude called Matthew Elliott. Who are you? Um, Big Brother Watch. Okay. Uh, opaque a net was central figure in a network of opaquely funded organizations. <laughs> oh, that's a good description. That's a really good description. Good on whoever at the Guardian wrote that line. <laughs> a network of opaquely funded organizations. Okay, okay. Libertarian conservatives, God God bless the right libertarians. Oh, they are a special bunch. Oh, they are a special bunch. Uh, so ditching the, um, okay. Oh, okay, so I see. All right, they're not fucking, they're not doing enough about taxes. All right, I get it, I get it. Um, hey, they're backed by the Tea Party. Oh, and the Americans for Prosperity Foundation. Cato Institute and the Heritage Foundation. Of course, dude, that's a checklist. That's a fucking checklist and a half. Yeah. All right. All right. I see what you, I see what they are. Yeah. This, this is, this is your, um, oh God, this would almost be Coke brothers. This would almost be Coke brothers.
<laughs> we, with our powers combined, we are Captain Feudalism. Yeah, exactly, Beast. Yeah. <laughs> this is just neo feudalism. As I guarantee every last one of these fuckers, you get them in a room. This is neo feudalism. That's a good fucking. Ah, thank you. Who, who uh, fucking threw that at me? Pound coin. <laughs> fucking. Yeah. Yeah, these fucks. <laughs> these fucks. Fucks like this. Um. You're all. You're all neo feudalist frauds. You're all misrepresenting your position and arguing in bad faith. And Rothbard was the only one with the fucking stones to admit it. He, he did it in bad faith himself. But he admitted it. He admitted it. He was straight up admitted it. That um, the, the use of anarchist was, uh, was done in bad faith. And that anybody with an understanding of, I believe it was history and etymology, would understand that we aren't anarchists. Rothbard himself admitted that about ANCAPs. <laughs> like the whole thing dude all right libertarianism is done in bad faith it was done to capture a position and an uh, uh and a set of terms that had nothing to do with them it was a straight up land grab it was it was linguistic imperialism if if you'll grant me that fucking reach holy fuck um yeah it was a it was a linguistic fucking land grab he knew what he was doing Oh, all right. Here's here are the choices. We're gonna we're gonna do a tier list. We're gonna do a caddy gay tier list. Um, oh, dear sweet Jesus, Good commodity. Um, Marcus, yeah, it was Marcus sent over three tier lists. We're gonna do a caddy gay tier list. Um, so let's see. We've got Asian dictators, Middle East and Asia Minor dictators. And then America's dictators. I don't know what's in America's. It's probably all Latin America. It's, I mean, we're talking, Marcus is an attorney. So strict definitional set. It, it's going to be rigid. So I, I don't know if we'll see U.S. presidents or not on that list. But whatever decision he made, he will have a logic for it. I assure you, it won't just be a, huh. All right. Um... Uh, pound coin. ANCAPs might be a complete mess of a belief system that are terrible for everyone involved, but they did give us the ANCAP goes to Greece story, so who can say if they, uh, they're they all bad? Pound coin. Do I fuck you? That's, it's the first time I saw on your, your channel. I'm like, do I know you? <laughs> fuck it. Dude, we've read the, the ANCAP goes to Greece story on, the, uh, on air and laughed our asses off. Dude, fucking. Yeah, I love that story. That story's amazing, and I love that you know that if, like, I don't know you already. <laughs> yeah, that's... That that story's amazing. Yeah. I, I I laugh at I still Jesus goddamn Christ. <laughs> he's like, that kid is fucking lucky he's alive. They took fucking pity on him because he was young and dumb. That was dude, that kid was holy shit, he was fucking stupid. Alright. Um there's that one. So the Americas. Here we go. All right, well, oh, interesting. His scoring system varies across them. All right. Um, all right. Yeah, dude. Coin. The, the story's amazing. The story's amazing. Fucking, I, I <laughs> you're violating the NAP! Fucking homie rocks up to a fucking Greek anarchist hate HQ. I almost said HQ. HQ and fucking starts taking photos just fucking just completely fucking oblivious completely oblivious <laughs> just, uh, oh my god fucking dummy <laughs> fucking. I've said before I've said before, if I had if I had a little bit of health back and I I I got a wild feather up my ass, dude, I wanna I wanna try and find that. I, I wanna try and find that place if they still exist. 
<laughs> yeah. Like, I, I want to buy all those guys a round of, like, what? Uzo, beer, whatever the fuck they want. Whatever the fuck they want. Dude, that's that's on me. Like, just to fucking rock up to some Greek H, uh, anarchist HQ and be like, crazy question. Crazy question. Did y'all, like, a decade ago, any of, we're out, any of y'all, don't answer the question, but, like, a decade ago... Any of y'all maybe remember some young, dumb fucking American who tried to come over here and say he was an anarchist <laughs> after taking some photos of this place? <laughs> that would be amazing if some one fucking old timer was just like, holy shit, I remember that. I remember that kid, right? You're like, that story is famous. <laughs> I owe you so many beers on behalf of so many people. <laughs> Oh my god. I try like they don't understand. I'm sorry, like no one. This isn't some like if you go the real real places. Like <laughs> you go like um uh, is still around. Um yeah, like if you go like Chile, Argentina, right? Fucking uh Italy. Spain, Greece, fucking Germany to some extent. Like, even, like, a couple of places in the UK where, like, anal operates. Dude, you fucking rock up on a crew of fucking anarchists and tell them you're a capitalist? Greece's entire economy came down because of what they perceive to be capitalist manipulations. Like, that's the anarchist line in Greece. Like, that's... Dude, they fucking... The capitalists destroyed their fucking economy. And just bent them over. Took their autonomy. Took their sovereignty. Like, they do... The anarchists in Greece take that real fucking personal. Right? Like, and, you know, Chile and Argentina. Dude, those fucking Latin American anarchists don't fuck around. Like, that's not... That's not a theory discussion for them. That's... We know theory, but, like... They're getting into shootouts with cops and shit like that, right? You understand what they get up to down there. Like, do the expropriators of fucking South America? Mm -mm, right? And fucking Italian and Spanish anarchists? Dude, get some fucking Basque anarchists. Like, you know, and this fucking kid rocks up to a bunch of fucking Greek anarchists, like, close to the fucking 2008 credit crisis for them. Like, you know, within the few years, what was it, two, four years? And it was like four or five years after 2008. Um, it was like 2012 or some shit that story takes place. Like, yeah, dude, dude, homie, you're lucky you got out with your life. That was a dangerous situation you put yourself into. And he, just completely oblivious. Completely fucking first world, fucking developed world, fucking oblivious. Just oblivious. That, like, this isn't a theory discussion. You, do you understand that, right? Like, they, they are a... You're a fascist. They are Greek anarchists. They've gotten away with, like, there, there's there's political assassinations that have happened in recent times in Greece over this sort of shit. Right, like, this isn't, this isn't, like, this isn't some shit you could put, you might not be able to walk away from that discussion. Like, this is some real shit. Like, this is, this is not some fucking collegiate academic conversation this kid was having. He's in a fucking, he's in a Greek anarchist, like, primary meeting building, probably. Hanging with a bunch of fucking Greek anarchists who get up to some shit. Like, North American right libertarians and so called ANCAPs have no idea the crew they are trying to join. They do not understand the error of the propaganda of the deed. They do not understand anarchist history. They're not anarchists. And so they're, they're, they're attempting to align themselves with a group that they do not quite understand the history of. That's a, in North America, anarchists have left that sort of stage behind because 
our situation dictates we must. But you need to sit down and read the history of your supposed movement and understand that. That we don't believe in a lot of the same stuff. And you seem to be trying to budge in on, um, barge in on some stuff that you probably don't want to be a part of, frankly. I, I don't... ANCAPs never are good anarchists. You try and claim anarchism, but none of you ever know the history of anarchism. None of you know anything about anarchist theory or our history of direct action or our action in the labor movement directly opposing those very forces that you are uh, proponents of up to and including doing shit like bombing mines, yo. Like... The concept of a mine owner between 1880 and 1920 for like the heyday of the fucking labor movement in North America. There were groups. You hired people to protect yourself. That was a thing. So I... It always fascinates me, dude. I love the I love the Greek fucking ANCAP fuck story. It's a prime example of how like these guys don't understand. No one accepts them. No one. No anarchist, no political scientist. Just a handful of rogue economists. That's it. Nobody in the political spectrum, and especially nobody in the direct action and field spectrum, except any element of this. They're, your whole cloth denied by the anarchist community. The, the entirety of the global anarchist milieu denies capitalism. Even, who, who did the, the correction? Fucking, what did we see? It was fucking, um, even Oxford has like updated it. Wikipedia's updated it. Like, it, it's... There's very few people that ascribe to this. You are in the vast minority. There's no anarchists that claim you. None. You're like that kid that weaseled in at a party that says like, Oh, no, I, you know, it's like, dude, nobody invited you. It's weird. You're anti-statists. We get that. You're not fans of the state. But there's a difference. You, anarchists are by default anti-statist, but we're more than that. Just because you hate the government doesn't make us the same. That's why anti-statism exists. Go talk about anti-statism and shit like that. Go, pro, pro, you know, proselytize. Like, but that's the thing. It's just fucking stop calling yourself anarchist because we don't just want a post-state world. We want a post-capitalist world. That's core to anarchism. We're not capitalists. We have heavy critiques of capitalism. We argue with the likes of Marx going all the way back to Bakunin, right? Bakunin and Marx butted heads. We have issues with communism too. But we're not capitalists. Like, that's anarchists by default. We're always considered at, 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 like, bare minimum, some form of socialist. We believe in public ownership. We don't believe in private property. We don't believe in the privatization of the commons. We, we use communalistic methodologies. That's fundamental to anarchism. Even the individualists, the hyper-individualists, the egoists, the sternerists say, yeah, we still need a union of the egoists. Even they recognize that we have to do a communal effort. And also they tend to, you know, pull some Perdonian stuff in and private property is theft. It's theft. Yeah. So, 
I, it's just, it, it's, it's one of those things that's really weird to anarchists, too. Like, I, like I said, I don't think you guys want to be in on our team. Like, I don't think you want to be considered an anarchist. That's probably, like, fucking the ANCAPs need to get down and have a, have a seat, at, like, a sit down with actual anarchists. And be like, let us tell you our reputation. Let us tell you what we put up with. Let us tell you what what the history and the baggage looks like on this one. And let me know. Because I don't think y'all want this. This is, it's, it's, dude, we're, <laughs> we're an actually oppressed group. We're like actually properly oppressed. There's been a smear campaign against us for almost a century, uh, a fucking, what well, mm, century, 1.1 centuries. Yeah, we're, we're about a tenth of the way. So about 110 years. The active smear campaign, like continual. It's a deep fucking one too at this point. I dude, it's a bad tactic. If I had to recommend, but I fucking yeah. There's always been this weird fascination with it in this one school of economics, with capturing this linguistic territory. I, I don't know where the obsession derives from. I've spent like. You know, like I said, 12 hours fucking talking about this shit. I don't know where it comes from, but I wouldn't advise I advised for it. But now you're here, but it's like walking into your living room and there's some weirdo like just standing there and you're like, what's up, bro? He's like, oh, I live here now. You're like, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, I'm your new roommate. I'm just like you. I live here. Like, I... G Okay, do you like, do you like eat food? No, I don't eat food. In fact, what I do is I'll just scream all night. What? Like, this doesn't seem like a compatible relationship. Right out of the gate, like, despite the fact that you just like randomly moved into my house. Nothing we, we don't, we line up on one thing. Anti-statism. But the fact of the matter is, is that all of your philosophy, the, the, the economic philosophies will, it will necessitate a need, a, it will de facto create an airsat state. You'll just be pri privatized, monopolized by default. You don't need a state to establish a libertarian code of conduct monopolization. It will, it will actually evolutionarily happen by default. Um, and watch the playlist. We invest, we've, this is how it goes. This is what would happen. Process by process. This is... And it... Look. Bears. Bears. <laughs> bears. <laughs> bears. Just at the end of the day, bears. Y'all can't even keep bears away on like a small scale. See, here's the thing. Anarchists have actually had a few fair runs at this. Anarchists have actually given this a try a few times. Libertarians and ANCAPs have tried it once. And you got shut down by bears. Like. That's not a joke. I'm not fucking trolling. Your record is shit. And so. No, he takes it seriously. <laughs> I mean. It's. It would devolve instantaneously. And it does. And uh, it's just... And the denial that you don't need the state to run, to have capitalism, is just... When you understand the history of the transfer from mercantilism to ca the industrial capitalism, and you see the necessity of the state to do that, and you walk through all those p points, and you're like, Jesus fucking Christ... What are you what are you gonna what are you gonna need for your fucking libertarian code of conduct shit, right? You're gonna need an arbiter. You're gonna need a judge. <clears throat> so now we have a private industry judge. Cool. All right. So it's a judge. You can call it an ar arbiter all you want, but it's a judge. So you have a private industry audit, uh, arbiter now. <clears throat> how um how are you gonna enforce any of these? Oh, you need private security forces. Okay, cool. So you need a police department. 
because if you understand the histories and origins of policing in North America, as I've covered specifically, what you end up is finding is that in the North, they had the big stick. There was already a privatized policing system. That's the origin of metropolitan policing in the North in this country is privatized, industrial, uh, industrial owned, business class owned um, and operated police systems. So you, how do you <laughs> security force? Oh, we're going to just create a private police force. Cool. 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 So we got a private judge. We got a pri- private police force. All right. Um, what about your fire department? Private, 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 private. Cool, 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 cool. So, what's going to keep these in check? Competition. Hmm. Interesting. Competition. 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 So, <clears throat> would it or would it not be in the interests? of these businesses to reach a homeostatic point. There would be a period of hyper uh, 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 competition. It would then stabilize. You'd start to see uh, clusters appear. You'd start to see regional powers of businesses appear. Then what you would find is a coordination between those regional powers. And once those regional powers start coordinating, you'd see a further uh, a further division or a conglomeration thereof. And then you'd have something like you know the 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 businesses on the west coast that are all you know one fucking brand or one. Uh, one umbrella corporation right and then you know you have a, a steady uh, a steady balance a homeostasis has been reached between two brands or uh, or something like that that's that's just how that would work and if you can go to the microcosmic to for that example like in a fucking town and my neighbor and i both are in the house washing business there's 10 bu- house washing house washing businesses in las vegas my neighbor and i both are in one it would benefit us to put our heads together and cooperate against the other not cooperating eight house washing businesses in town we have consolidated power by operating as a unit basic game theory allows us an advantage in this situation and so say we we drive one out of business and we gobble up half their market share even Right? We're no longer the equivalent of two businesses. We're the equivalent of 2.5 businesses. See, this is just, this is how it works. There will be an inevitable consolidation of power that will reach a homeostatic portion, uh, a portion and, uh, and you will end up with a handful of monopolies. And only this time, what you're doing is you're doing monop- a, pot- a potential capitalistically driven, greed driven monopolies but you're empowering them to run society. Whole cloth. Courts, security forces, all the land, all the water, all the air, if they get around to that, everything. It's all up for grabs. Everything is something that can be commodified and owned. This is our problem with private property. It's theft of the commons. It's theft of the things that are required for existence on this planet. How is you owning private land different than choking off my air supply? The land is required to live on and to derive food from and minerals and water and all of the things that are required to sustain life. This is a direct attack on my physical being. All private property is theft. The organizational methodology Uh, Zach Arthur operate so efficiently within them that they can outcompete the um, the hierarchical organizations rather than the hierarchical organizations, and de facto replace them, and then take the next step. The first step is to become the the predominant modality. So first step, outcompete the uh, the uh, non cooperative or the com- the competitive ones. Yeah, that's your go to move on that one, because we know they do. It, what it's it's not a fair fight it's not this is this is not all things being equal sort of situation the the cards are actually stacked against you to a certain extent but 
as far as the metrics go, and we've got like in the info store section on the, um, oh God, it's, I forget which, which one it is. Um, it's going to be, oh God, uh, worker co-ops under political science. And there, there will be a bunch of studies and a bunch of data that, um, that will elaborate upon that, that can explain to you how, uh, worker, worker operated cooperatives are uh, longer lasting, more efficient, better outcomes uh, for uh, both client and um, and employee alike. They're a preferred operating method uh, methodology. Um, it's just you know, there's some very powerful forces working against you. <clears throat> so you know, they'd prefer you to not work that way. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's your first step is outcompete them. Um, because, I mean, look at open source technologies. We already know the more productive, more... Hey, Viva. The more uh, efficient system is a, an open source communalistic methodology of uh, development-driven processes. That's already proven itself. The internet and the information age, like, it literally, it kicked off through the power of open source technology, we revolutionized the globe. So it's more efficient. We already know that. Like, yeah, Unix, all the Nixes. Yeah, thank you, Unix. Um, Uh, Zix Arthur, I mean, in, uh, intra, um, you're looking at intra comp uh, competition. I'm looking at inter competition. Um, basically, um, the way I'm, I, when I say competitively, I don't mean like externally on the marketplace. I mean, internally with their own, um, business structure. Hierarchies are inherently, uh, inherently competitive. And when you eliminate that internally, there's a whole bunch of like business culture stuff that changes along with it. And when you're not like actively competing against your, your coworkers to like replace a boss in a position and stuff like that, when you have a fair share, like a fair say in the business, no matter who you are, janitor to, you know, project manager to floor worker to whatever, um, that you're all in this together. Um, there's, there's a lot of like one financial changes, um, organizational changes, voting, voting shares versus dividend shares, depending on how you, um, legally structure that. Um, so there's functional changes, but then there's a whole lot of culture changes as well that happen when that, ha oh, when you do that. And so the business operates a bit differently as well. Um, I mean, it operates drastically differently, frankly. Um, but Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I mean by like you know not being competitive um, externally. You know they would be, yeah, yeah. Put it to them. Um, <clears throat> Internet is run on Linux. It is just straight up. It is uh, Revroth, and that's ostensibly why I installed Ubuntu on every computer I've had since two thousand six. I I like Mint for um, for beginners, um, but I've run a I've run a bunch over the years. I don't really have a preference anymore. It's sort of whatever, like, you know, if at these points, it's mostly project machines and stuff like that. So if there's a platform, uh, if there's a build um, that is specifically best for whatever I'm tr attempting to do, I'll just use it. I, you know, my daily driver is a fucking Windows machine, whether I w want it to be or not. Um, but you know, between the gaming and then the streaming and, you know, video productions, it's just, I'm sorry. It's like, it is more efficient. It's faster. It's more efficient it is what it is. But I've got mixed machines in the house from all the way down to like microcomputers up to, you know, fucking network, uh, network storage, uh, network attached storage. Um, so yeah, like I just use whatever is the most appropriate. You know, which one does the do the job? <clears throat> hmm. Nah, no worries, commodity. 
Um, so to be fair, for me, the uh, Ubuntu strikes the right balance between accessible and how the fuck do I add this repository? Uh, my issue with Ubuntu is always it's GUI. I never liked the, the Ubuntu layout, the UI. That's That was always my hang-up with Ubuntu. No, no kidding. I never had any, like, I've run uh, Ubuntu, a, like, server command line. Like, a terminal only. No X windows. So, like, that that's fine. But, yeah, their, their GUI, like, for a desktop has always bothered me. <clears throat> Duly noted. Use Ubuntu with the uh, Mint GUI. There you go. Yeah. That's but I mean we already we already know the power of like open source and GUI and uh, of GUI uh, GNU and Nix and BSD and MIT licenses and com uh, you know Creative uh, Commons. But mm, that's a shame. Um, UI is why I picked Kubuntu over uh, Ubuntu. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, but that's that's the thing is like you can't. You have to always be operating on the like offensive and defensive when you're operating within a capitalist system. The capitalist the capitalism is inherently vampiric. It's greed driven. It's expansionist driven. It takes advantage of the worst of humankind. It's it's coercive. It's oppressive. It's inherently hierarchical. Like, it's just, I don't even know how anybody argues that. Like, we want it gone. Or we want it chained to the floor, and we want it in a fucking gimp mask. Like, that's, dude, like, that's that's the starting discussion for anarchists in capitalism. Is chained to the fucking floor so it can't move a goddamn inch, and I want it in a fucking gimp mask, too. Right? Like, that's where our starting position for capitalism is. Like, that's where we start the negotiation. Like, dude, ideally, you know what we want? Gone. Gone. That's what we want. Gone. This shit is poison. <laughs> oh, now we're getting into the after dark part. Yeah. Fucking, we did. And we're going to cane the shit out of it, too, by the way. <laughs> You better believe we gonna fuck face down, face down. We want it chained to the floor. I'm gonna fucking tear that ass, tear that fucking ass up. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna work it. Oh, <clears throat> oh yeah, Aspen for sure. Um, I right. so we're doing America's uh, America's tier. Yeah, we're doing America's tier. All right, let's blow these fuckers up. Just bust out the bullwhip. I know, right? I, I don't, dude. I, I gotta tell you, the weed is working. Let's see who we got. Who we got? Um, okay. Um. There we go. First, first, first impressions. First impressions, because remember, even if we know who these people are, I'm judging, I'm just judging them on their hotness. This is pure ableist objectivism. Nothing matters about these people other than how do they strike me? <laughs> I love doing these. Um, there's not a whole lot to work with in this batch. I got to tell you. It is. It is a looks tier list. This is this is this is a hundred percent hunt hunt bunch of potato looking fuckers. Uh, I gotta tell you, we got a whole lot of ones probably. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be difficult. Are there? I don't. It isn't a free and voluntary exchange. It's a coercive system. If you don't have the capital to pay for your healthcare, your food, your your housing, um, that's coercion. 
legally def- defined. That's coercion. Capitalism it, capitalism is inherently coercive. The the system of privatization of, of these commons is coercive. The, the, it's just the, the fact of the matter is, yeah. If you want to have a philosophical or an economic discussion or a legalistic discussion around this topic, the fact of the matter is, is that capitalism is inherently coercive. Holding that sort of Damocles above our head of homelessness, of destitute. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the definition of coercion. The whole system is coercive. It's got to be thrown out. It doesn't it doesn't meet the uh, ethical flame- framework for an anarchist. That's we, we have functional problems with it. We have ethical problems with it. We have utilitarian problems with it. Anarchists hate capitalism. It's 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 a constant point of our critique. It's just disingenuous to be a capitalist and call yourself anything but. Um, let's see. I don't know a lot of these. I gotta be honest with you. I knew the Middle Eastern motherfuckers a lot better, like the African and the Middle Eastern guys. Um, all right, what do we got here? What do we got? All right. Yeah, I don't. I don't know this mother. Yeah, this motherfucker right. Yeah, can I get my cursor up there? Yeah, I don't know this motherfucker. I think I know this motherfucker. I mean, this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I mean, I know who this is. This this doofy looking motherfucker. It's fucking, it's straight up neck beard looking milady fucking hat tipping motherfucker, dude. This is Castro. Um. <clears throat> I, dude, I don't just remember that one from the history books. That's Mexico. That's Diaz. Um, no, no, no. It can't be Indonesia because it's America's. Che, this is America's. Sash? Um... Yeah. Um uh where's yeah, that's Pinochet. That's Pinochet. Um fucking uh that's or that's Ortega. That's Ortega. That's Ortega. Um and let's see. Um Oh dude 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 uh fucking I'll come back to him. I don't uh fucking this is uh baby doc. That's fucking baby doc. That's the most recent. That's Haiti. That's Haiti. Uh, I don't remember it, dude. He's got the French name. He's got the French name. I I, I forget. I forget his. Stu- it's a French fucking name. Uh, but that's that's baby doc. Yeah, that's that's fucking Haiti. Uh. All right, top row, four from left. Oh, all right. Yeah, I see it. Cool, cool. Duly noted. Um, all right. Let's see. I keep looking up because it's bigger on my top screen. <laughs> I've got it on, on this screen, but it's shrunk down. So I keep checking up here. That's, um, that's Perone. That's Perone. So yeah. Yeah. That's Perone. Um, and, um, fucking that's, um, douchebag. Um, Maduro, Maduro, that's Nicaragua, uh, Nicaragua, it's Venezuela, fucking Nicaragua, (laughs) you're lucky we're not calling you Mexico, um, I don't, I don't know Hattie McGee. I don't know him. Uh, let's see. Oh, 
Okay. That's pretty much all I know. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I know. All right. Let's rate these motherfuckers. Now. Oh, I don't know, Zippy. I'll have to consult the cheat sheet. I'll have to pull the files and give them a look to know for sure. Um, first, third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but how hot are they? See, this is the problem. There aren't any lookers in this crew. All right? There's no lookers. But I will tell you right fucking now um, that Pinochet... I mean, he's got the swag, yo. Look at that shit. Like, he's kind of baller looking. Right? I mean, cre credit where credit's due. He's got the look at, at least. Does porn become more ethical when the featured performers bounce? <laughs> um... This is, this is rough. This is rough. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Let's just, let's just get this, let's get this done. Let's get this done. I don't know who the fuck you are. <sighs> uh, not a fan of Jeff Goldblum here, but I mean, Jesus Christ. Um, Woody Allen here. No, I'm good on. <clears throat> I don't know what to do with you. God, he looks like he's just going to bring too much stuff to bed. <laughs> she's going to be, dude, imagine getting him out of this uniform. Jesus, goddamn Christ. Gee, there's going to be a thousand fucking la layers. Oh. <sighs> Let's see. I, you know, I, I don't think Perone is all that, frankly. I think he's kind of doughy looking. He looks soft, despite everything. I just scissors. I know, right? So much fucking work. Okay, you know fucking baby doc just lays there. You know he's a fucking terrible lay. Look at him. He's a terrible lay and you know it. Fucking. This motherfucker right here. Yeah. That's that's fucking um Ortega. Um he looks like he'd put in the work at least. It's probably going to be an angry fuck. Like a really angry fuck. But it looks like it could be a decent fuck. Like he's going to put in some work for you at least. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know. <laughs> I know, right? I don't, I don't know who this is. I think it's Grenada. I think this is the dude from Grenada. I don't know who the fuck he is, but I'm pretty sure. I, I just, I remember the smiling black dude in the fucking military cap. It's just, that's, I don't, I think he's, I think he's Grenada. I think you're going to get a good dicking out of both of these. I think you're going to get a good dicking out of both of these. That's 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 what that's coming down to. This guy doesn't even look like he I I don't I don't know what's going on here, but he looks like he might be confused. What's up, champ? Yes. Yes, yes, Che. 
that Grenada. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's Grenada. I don't remember his fucking name, though. All right. Let's deal with it. Castro, you fucking neckbeard, maladying, fucking... Absolute... Dude, this... You know this... Um, these... Okay, uh, Chimp, these... Uh, my community sometimes creates... Uh, I am... Hi, my name's Kai. Um, I, sometimes I like to be a catty gay. Um, and so they like to create, like, tier lists of, like, dictators and war criminals and shit like that. These are, um, the, the best dictators and strong men from the Americas. However, uh, the, the, the community member that created this defined that. And I rate them solely on whether I think how they look, how hot they are, whether you get a good like, lay out of them or not. Completely objectifying and, uh, like, minimizing... The, the And, hi, I'm an anarchist, by the way. You know, it's a fun time. It's it's the night show. Grab a beer. Grab a smoke. Um, that's Trudeau's dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Castro. Yeah, that neckbeard-looking motherfucker, that's Castro. 100%. Yeah, I don't even need to, like, that's, that's, that's fucking Castro. Yeah. Yeah, try and throw me a fucking younger photo of Castro so I don't, uh, you think I've slipped that by me. No, that motherfucker, that's Castro. That neckbeard looking motherfucker. I swear to God, he, he always looked like he'd be the fedora wearing fucking katana carrying motherfucker. Yeah. Fucking, my lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude, dude was, dude was always a fucking neckbeard. Ah. <sighs> All right. Maduro, <laughs> Maduro, you're dumb looking ass. I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. All right, so here we go. I wasn't finished with Castro. I think Castro, I like. Look, I can only work with him here. He's young here. He he doesn't have the moves developed yet. Old Castro could probably put some fucking moves on you here. This guy, this guy doesn't have a lick of experience at that point. He's gonna be awkward and shaky and shit. And it's probably going to bust a nut inside three seconds. So, you know, fucking... But you get to say you slept with Castro. So he'll get a three out of that. Not at this point, he doesn't. Not at this point, he doesn't, Zippy. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This, this Castro doesn't have cigars and rum for you yet. <laughs> you're going to you're gonna have to wait. You're going to have to wait a few years for that, Castro. <laughs> Oh, Maduro, you're fucking soap opera looking ass. I don't know what to do with you. Um, I don't know if you'd even get any action out of him. He looks like he might be another layer. Like he 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 he's, he's like baby doc over here in Haiti. Like I think Maduro might have just fucking laid there. He, I I get the I get the distinct feeling of objectifying the objectors, right? I you know gorilla. I know, right? Fucking fair play. Look, I'm I'm all for... I'm, I'm a humanist across the board. I'm for equality. Look, if we're not going to get rid of the authoritarians completely, can we at least see some diversity in them? I, for one, would like to be oppressed by a gay woman for once. I know, wouldn't that be so refreshing if we could just, you know, yes, girl, that all the way... That boot heel? I want that boot heel to be sparkly and fucking bedazzled. <sighs> Or we could um, <clears throat> do what we need to do to all of these. Um, let's see. Yeah, Maduro's just gonna fucking lay there. More female dictators. Yes, exactly. All right. Uh, our duplicate here. You know what? This guy's kind of got something going on. He's actually decent looking. He's also kind of got an intensity to him. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. You see, people, I'm somewhat of a feminist myself. He's into spanking. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? He looks like he'd just be happy to be invited. He'd probably put in the effort just for being invited. I, 
I, I mean, look, I'm sure his parents are proud that he graduated summa cum laude from a technical school. Uh, he'll go on to <laughs> go on to found a software company, um, and he'd provide an excellent living for you. But I'm just not digging it. It's not. It's not. It's not working for me. Now, I, I think he might be happy to like be invited to the party, as it were. So he's not like the lazy fucking or like straight up. I, this dude's a rapist. I don't know what this fucking this dude's deal is, but he's a fucking rapist. I'm telling you right now, and I ain't putting up with that. But uh, you know, so he's not, he's not going there, and he's not going the like what the fuck, stay away from me level. Um, uh, I think he's just gonna be mediocre. He's Ted Cruz. Yeah, he's Ted Cruz. He's Ted, he's he's sort of yeah, he's got sort of a Ted Cruz vibe. Um so like I, I you know No, god no. Perone, you at least work wear this wear the uniform well. Credit where credit's due. Oh Jesus Christ, Rev. <laughs> uh <laughs> all right I, I don't dude i when i mean this dude's like japanese or some shit what the fuck is this who i mean peru's got like asian influence um who could he be I, dude, my shot in the dark is Peru, just because I know en just enough about Peru to know about the the Asian influence in their society. He's Fujimori, the neoliberal dictator of uh, Fujimori. He's Fujimori, the neoliberal dictator of Peru. I just I know Peru has like a bunch of Asian influence. It's like you know because of like my favorite dish is lomo saltado, and it's it's got soy sauce in it by default like that's that's it's got cilantro and soy sauce and so it's got this like you know and potatoes and so it's it's got the indigenous uh south american it's got the the influence from uh from above in mexico and central america it's got lime and like a green sauce and then it's got um soy sauce from the asian immigrants that came to peru um and so like yeah i know just enough about peru to be like i shot in the dark Asian dude is Peru. Interesting. He's the neoliberal dictator of Peru. Fujimori. Hmm. Uh, the total blind spot. Total blind spot. But, um... Yeah, he kind of feels like there. He's a bit out of my age range, but I'd give him a fair shake. <sighs> he's gonna... He's just... I don't know who he is, but holy shit, I don't want him anywhere near me. Um... I just, I, oh, yeah. Yeah, like this, I don't, it, it just, no, just no. I just, Jesus Christ, this guy's so sad looking. This guy's just so fucking sad looking. <laughs> oh... Yeah, the, the mustache guy looks violent and non-consensual. Yeah, no, I don't feel safe with him in the room. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't... Okay, look, I've already established lots of gear and you go in the bo bottom bin, right? Like, I'm sorry, if I have to start cutting off your uniform to get your fucking dick, you gotta go. So, that's that's a given. Um... I, Gramps down here, like this dude just got grandpa vibes. It doesn't matter age. This dude just got like grandpa vibes. Now I'm not opposed to fucking banging grandpa, but uh, I just he does not. He's just not entertaining. I don't know. Yeah, he's he's definitely. Yeah, I kind of feel that sort of. Yeah, that vibe here. He's a 1950s perv <laughs> for Zippy. <laughs> Uh, all right.
There are too many people with non-sexy grandpa vibes. He, he got robo dildo vibe, robot dildo vibe. All right, I don't, dude. I don't know. This is okay. This guy's this guy's creeping me out. Maybe because there's two of them, or maybe just because he's creeping me out. I've been looking at him for too long, and now he's just starting to like stare into my soul from the beyond. I don't know if this motherfucker's dead or not, but like. Fuck yeah. What's up, Cat Cube? Thanks for the fall. Um, mustache guy? Mustache guy is Videla, uh, leader of the military junta in 70s Argentina. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, definitely some non consensual shit going on there. Um, <laughs> um, I, this guy's creeping me out, man. This guy's creeping me out. Um. All right. <laughs> he looks so sad. <laughs> I figure. I figure. Uh. I figure we could. Uh. Like help his day along he seems like he seems like he could use to pick me up <laughs> all right creepy motherfucker uh uh hey old friend one hunter two nobody can see you're not you're not in chat so you know you've been shadow banned. <laughs> oh. Let's see. So, who are we at? I have a feeling he's gonna lay pipe though. Something about uh, something about him says to me. We pound coin, yeah, yeah. It's it's bang ability and I initial hotness impression and that sort of thing. Yeah, hundred percent objectification of uh, of dictators. Yeah, like throw throw out whatever you fucking know about him, and just we're we're just the vibe and you, are are they bangable? Do they do they get your engine moving? What do they do? Is that Jordan Lee Peterson? <laughs> Shoot, man. <sighs> yeah. That feels right. So what this tell is telling me is that Kai will fuck out of fear. All right. So let's figure out what I what I fucking I, do. I do I want to make any changes here before we fucking do this. Okay. 
I'm happy. I'm happy with that list. I'm happy with that list. I mean, they're all kind of shit. But I don't know. Oh, what did Pound Coin do? Oh, something else. Let's see. Uh, a couple of years back at Folsom, Berlin. Nice. Um, a couple I knew tra uh, decided to dress as a Brit royal in the full red military dress and his chauffeur footman in the traditional gray uniform. Even how the Rolls Royce do it, uh, doing some dominant submissive class play stuff. But when they turned up at their hotel, the hotel thought they were legit actual UK royals and laid out the full red carpet and shit. They got all sorts of freebies and special treatment. Yes. Nice. Nice. I don't know. I don't know. What do we? Oh, just wanted to say. All right, let's just call it. Let's call it. Let's call it. All right, let me try and figure some of these motherfuckers out. All right, we know for sure this is Pinochet. This is Pinochet. <sighs> Hudson Austin. Hudson Austin. He's he's Grenada. I was right about Grenada. The name still Hudson Austin. I just remember photos. It's just vague memories. Uh, who is Starry McGee here? El Salvador. He's El Salvador. 1931 to 1934 and then 1935 to 1944. He is Brigadier Maximiliano Hernandez Martinez. Okay. El Salvador. Got it. That's Ortega. That's um, Nicaragua. Uh, 79 to 90. And then 2007 to present. Fucking. Fucking. Yeah, oh, yeah, dude. South American. Sometimes the South American dictators get like five, seven names going. And you're like, God damn, that's a name. Um, all right. Carlos Mancheno Cajas. Ecuador. 47 to 47. Oh, Jesus. He did well. I see. <laughs> he did well. Oh, who's sad boy? Guatemala, 31 to 45. Jorge Ubico y Castaneda. Uh, uh, Castaneda. Sad boy is Guatemala. All right. Who's smiley grandpa over here? Albert Henry, the Cook Islands. All right, you little motherfucker. You little motherfucker. The Cook Islands, you little... Wait, let me guess. You got some fucking... You do. You've got some, like, Tonga and S Solomon Islands and Samoa up in this bitch. Oh, you little motherfucker. That's why I have a... Like, we're not even... Our brains aren't even in that part of the world. We're like, where the fuck... Who is this motherfucker? <laughs> oh, you sketchy little fucking attorney. I regret nothing. This is Marcus. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, okay, so Smiley Grandpa was Cook Islands. Albert Henry, 65 to 78. Um, we, we got Peron here. Uh, Juan Peron. Uh, fucking. Uh, so yeah, we got, uh, we got fucking Perone. When was he? 46 to 55, 73 to 74. Okay, cool. Um, why am I not seeing crazy here? Uh, there he is. Honduras. 
Oswaldo Lopez Arellano. Uh, Are those two L's? Or yes, yes. Uh, Os uh, Oswaldo Lopez Arellano. He was Honduras, 63 to 71, 72 to 75. I love the repeats. Um, let's see, who's, who's Jeff Goldblum here? Oh, music. There we go. Um... Oh, Brazil. Uh, fuck it. How do I fucking say this crazy fucker's name? Um, Heo? I think it's Heo. Uh, Hoe? Either way. Uh, Figueiredo. Sorry for butchering his name. He's fucking Brazil. 79 to 85. Yeah. Um, uh, here, yeah. Fucking, I'm not even gonna try and say this goddamn name. Go fuck yourself with this shit. What is this? I'm putting it in chat. I'm putting it in chat. This is this is some crazy shit. I, I'm sorry. That I, I I there's no point of reference for me. Within my within my capacity <laughs> as a as a native English speaker, I take one look at that and go. No. Twile epa se elele malele ago I I dude, I just I just murdered a language. I just murdered a language. <laughs> Fucking. Uh, say it like it's Spanish. <laughs> oh. It's Samoan. I think. Beast. I'm pretty sure it's Samoan. It says Samoa. 98 to 2021 attempted attempted dictator. I We have to. We have to, right? Like, we have to. How the fuck is this name said? All right. Somebody's just got to say his name, right? Somebody's just got to say his name. Yeah. Nope. Don't care. Fuck, why are you just somebody say this fucker's name. That. Nope. I give up. Somebody else find it. <laughs> I give up. Somebody else find that shit. Uh... Yeah, streamer perks. It's like I, I'm, I'm fucking yeah. Don, Dunskis. We already know who the fuck. This, oh, sorry. Fucking. We already know who the fuck this idiot is. This, 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 uh, this neckbeard looking motherfucker who guaranteed tipped that fucking fedora at least once in his life. Fucking. That's that's f good old Fidel Castro. Oh no, it's Raul. I'm sorry. Fucking. It's uh, Raul Castro. Jesus Christ. Um. Fucking. That's Daddy. Um, my comrade. Now, who is, um, who is this guy? Joaquin Balaguer, Dominican Republic. Oh, it already was Aspen here. Here it is. There's the name. First 10 seconds has it. Thank you. Company. All right. One of the ones I just skipped over and didn't collect. Company, His Excellency. The Assembly will now hear the address of His Excellency Tuilaipa Salieri Malelie Gaoi, the Prime Minister and Minister. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Minister for the address of. His Excellency Tuilaipa Salieri Malelie Gaoi, the Prime Minister and Minister for Foreign Affairs. <laughs> wow. 
wow. That's a fucking, that's a sound. Oh, that's his, that's his full name. That's his full name. Thank you, Che. His full name. His full name right there. S s uh, you know, you know, I'm just going to, I'm going to let the person who's apparently practiced at this do this. His Excellency Tui Laipa Salieri Malelie Gaoi, the Prime Minister and Minister Excellency Tui Laipa Salieri Malelie Gaoi, the Prime Minister yeah. and Minister for Foreign Affairs. Yeah. No, those are sounds that you can make. Those are sounds you can make. That's, that's, sorry. That's all I got for that. That's all I got for that. That I, there's, there's no way my mouth is capable of producing that. Nope. <laughs> Not even going to try. Um, yeah, Alberto uh, Fujimori, Peru, 90 to uh, 2000. Yeah, that was, um, that was a name. That was a name. Jesus, goddamn Christ. Whew. Like, I feel like that took something out of me. Like, I feel like a spell was cast or something. Jesus Christ. The fuck Harry Potter shit was that? Um... <laughs> All right. Um, who's this Woody Allen looking motherfucker right here? Sir Colin Hamilton Allen, Solomon Islands, 76 to 78. He definitely looks like he's from the Solomon Islands. The fact that he's knighted. I shouldn't read anything into that, right? <clears throat> Oh my god. That's Papa Doc. This is Baby Doc. That's Papa Doc. I had no idea. Uh, Francois de Vier or whatever the fuck their fucking French last. This is Papa Doc. I knew Baby Doc. I hadn't. I, dude, no idea. No idea it was Baby Doc. Uh, Papa Doc. Jesus Christ. Um, all right. I gotta work off like shapes and shit sometimes. <laughs> Alfredo, Alfredo Stresner? S T R O E S S N E R. Stresner? Alfredo Stresner? Um, Paraguay, 34 to 89. Uh, I'm sorry, 54 to 89. Decent run, though. Um, I think the cutoff for this list... <sighs> yeah, it's three... It's It's gotta be here. It's gotta be here. Paraguay. Happy zippy. Paraguay. <laughs> I'll lean into it as far. Um, I, I don't know. It's it's four five three four. I don't know. This doughy ass is gonna be so boring in bed. He seems fun. Who is he? Cook Islands. What did he get up to? What did um? What did uh, Albert Henry in the Cook Islands get up to? How bad of a fucking dictator was he? I don't know anything about this motherfucker. Creepy gay boy? Yeah, I'd fuck him. Yeah, he'd give me a fucking... He'd give me a Werther's original afterwards. Be fine. <laughs> you think sad face oh no 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 pound pound i literally put sad said <laughs> sad face mcinbred i put him in six just to ensure that he'd get like laid right i feel like i feel like if we could fucking make him happy and maybe he wouldn't be a dictator anymore it seems to me that this dude just needed one good nut 
And and that's just so I, I was putting him up here just to make sure he got laid. He, he five, five, six, whatever the wherever the cutoff is, just consider him to be at the level of the cutoff for getting fucked. Because I just I feel like we might be able to turn that one around. He was what was he? He was uh, Castaneda. Castaneda. He was uh, Guatemala. Yeah, I feel like we could might have saved Guatemala a lot of fucking heartache. We could have we could have just fucked that one out. It's a pity fuck. It is. It's a pity fuck. It's a pity fuck. It is. It is a hundred percent a pity fuck. It is. It is what it is, man. Fucking um, Gustavo Rojas Pinilla. Pinilla. Colombia. The only thing that can defeat a dictator. Post nut clarity. Dude, Caboose, did you see that post nut clarity on Reddit? Fucking like the most epic post nut clarity ever. A uh, kid was um, feeling suicidal. He went and laid down on the train tracks, and while he was waiting for the train, he yeah yeah he got bored, so he rubbed one out. And in his post nut clarity, he's like, "Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Just get up!" And he fucking saved his life. Um, best best fucking post nut clarity ever. Yeah. Uh, all right, so yeah, Colombia, dude. This 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 dude just got. Mm -mm. I ain't letting him anywhere near me. Like I said, I don't like the accoutrement. Um, just no. Fucking just no. Uh, what the fuck are you? Yeah, that was Diaz. That was Mexico. Um, fuck, this is just way too much work. Just way too much work. Scissors. Baby doc. Uh, this guy's a psychopath. Like, proper. You don't want to be in this dude's bed. Uh, Cook Island's guy wasn't too bad. Did steal an election or two. All right. All right. See, see, creepy grandpa's not that terrible. Fucking, you get, you get a Werther's original after you suck his dick. It's a good deal. Swindling some money, doing some voter fraud, but nothing too crazy. See? So like a typical American politician. All right. That is pretty much par for the course then. Yeah, like this motherfucker? Mm, don't lay down with him. He's just... Maduro is just going to lay there and be a lazy, a lazy lay. You know he is. You know he is. Just going to fucking lay there and be like, ride me. And you're like, oh, yay. I get a fucking climb on top of some fat motherfucker and bounce on his three-inch baby dick for a, uh, for a while. <laughs> yeah, Maduro doing that dead fish impression. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't, but apparently some people do call them pillow princesses. Um, socialism. Everyone has to do the work. Yeah, he didn't believe in socialism. He was an oligarch. What's up, Alex? We're do we're doing another dictators t uh, hot or not tier list. They're already they're already tiered out. Um, fucking I sorry this batch I I Pinochet was getting in the getting the hottest. Um, fucking I dude dude I fucking people people still give me I, occasionally somebody will fucking mention that shit. Fucking the the uh, the Che Guevara thing. Some people are still fucking mildly annoyed that they're like, why the fuck did you put Che so low? Put him at the same level as Donald Trump, I think. Anyway. Who is this motherfucker? Jorge Rafael Videla, Argentina. 76 to 81. He'd be to slap your ass in your face. Yeah, he would. But you know what? It's going to be some good goddamn dick. That dude, that dude's going to throw it in you. Yeah, that dude's going to fucking put some work in. So you better be ready for round two and three probably too. Oh, no, yeah, uh, uh, Alex, you're literally the, like, second or third person to say they all look like potatoes. I'm not kidding you. you. No, no, no. Other people have said that as well, and I don't disagree. It's it's a rough list. It's a rough list. Dude, it's it's a rough list. I mean, when you're working with fucking Baby Doc and fucking Maduro and shit. All right. Fucking, um, yeah, we did uh, fucking Videla, uh, Videla uh, Argentina. And who is Hattie McGee here? King George Tupu V, Tonga, 2006 to 2012. Oh, he doesn't he look happy too? Hang on, can we get a little closer on this? Oh, God damn it. 
Yeah, he, he looks like a real happy camper. Wait, I have the fucking... Why am I... God damn it, Kai. Fucking dumbass. Um, There it is. Uh, yeah. Yes, 2006 to 2012. A few of these are recent. I mean, Maduro was recent. Um... Raul's recent. I mean, Pinochet's in the 90s. Ortega was recent, too. Ortega's still going. Like, um, yeah. Ortega's still going, but... Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it's fucking Tonga. I mean, you know... He looks like he's going on a racist safari trip. I mean, do we know if he was going on a racist safari trip? <laughs> it's a distinct possibility. Um, thank you, Marcus. We have two more of those, courtesy of Marcus as well. Now I know what to expect, you sneaky fucking lawyer. Um... <laughs> that race is safari. You repeat yourself. Ah, uh, well. It's 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 a, it's a form of rhetoric. It's it's like alliteration. It's the the repetition. It's to drill the point home. Uh, uh is there anything fucking? Yeah, I don't care about any of that. <laughs> uh, Asia will take you forever since it's the largest. Middle East is much shorter. Let me just let me just peek at it. Let me just peek at it. Um, Asian dictators and strongmen. Ooh, Jesus! All right, let's just peek at it. Let's just peek. Oh, you know what? All right. There's more to work with in here, at least. Yeah, there's more to work with in here. I mean, there's some garbage tier here as well. But. We got a few here. What do I got here? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. So he likes his he likes his uniforms. Um, more beef and more rotted beef. Yeah, not bad. Doable, 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 definitely doable. I mean, he's gonna murder you afterwards, but it's probably gonna be an amazing lay. Um, I mean, Jesus, goddamn Christ. For fuck's sake. Um, <laughs> just no, no. <sighs> All right. That'll be a fun list. Yeah, that'll be a fun list. <laughs> ah, nah, nah. Um, are all these pictures over 18? Yeah, that was, that was fucking, um, that wasn't Marcus fucking trying to set me up with a fucking pedo trap. Fucking, fucking that was Amorous. Fucking Amorous out here putting high school pictures and shit in. Fucking douchebag. Uh, who was it? It was Assad and Kim that, um. Yeah, fucking Amorous puts in their fucking high school photo. Like, they're, they're like, s fucking private school, European Swiss private school high school photos in and shit. Yeah, dictator honeypot. Fucking Amorous out here trying to fucking get me in a pedo trap and shit. Ugh. 
Yeah. It, it part way through, I'm like these look really young. Like how how when when <laughs> these are are these high school fucking photos? Oh. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh. <sighs> and then there is, you know what? We have the Middle Eastern one. The Middle Eastern one won't take as long, but you know what? The fucking, oh, there's one in here. Y'all are going to, I think I know who this is. Why are my icons rearranged? Um, that would be Middle East Asia Minor. I just popped open the zip file, Marcus, on the Asia Minor because the thumbnail for the Middle Eastern one was someone in particular. The name is on the, the, the picture. But if if you don't look closely, a lot of people are going to have, like, they're going to be confused. Um, here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is the, um, this is the Asia Minor. Uh, Middle East and Asia Minor. Here's the individual that I was looking at for, for those who, um, this is a Middle Eastern dictator and I bet a lot of you are kind of mildly confused by looking at this photo yeah who the fuck is this again he's over 18 in that photo yeah I was I, I went right to the fucking I just saw the name in the zip file and I opened it to make sure I was like is that who I think it is? Yeah. It's... That's an interesting photo. Most people... Most people would never. That is that. That is King Abdullah. That right there is that person right there. Yeah. I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Abdullah. That was the first, it just popped out. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's Abdullah. I haven't, dude. Yeah. He is the king of Jordan, Viva. Yes, the king of Jordan belonged in a boy band, 100%. He's he's kind of androgynous. Look at him. He's he's very kind of androgynous. He's got sort of mixed features. And the further back you go, if you go really young, he sort of gets feminine. Like the young pictures of Abdullah, you're you very kind of you're like I'm not sure if that's a lesbian or an NB or what what's what's going on here? Yeah, that's Abdullah. He's he's very kind of androgynous looking. So yeah, that was popped out right away. But yeah, the, the as soon as I pulled the photo up on the side, I was like, oh yeah, name tags on there. <laughs> <laughs> like you can see Abdullah on the fucking shirt right there. Um, <laughs> I didn't even look at the rest of them. Oh, for fuck's sake. Is that uh, one of those photos is cut off completely, but I'm pretty sure I know who it is anyway. <laughs> Let me check. Let me check. Uh, yep, that's him. <laughs> One of the photos is cut off completely. <laughs> I'm like, that's Bashar al-Assad. <laughs> that weak fucking chin. <laughs> I 
I do. I just looking at this. I'm like, that's a sod. <laughs> that's a sod. I know it is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that dude's got the weakest chin in the dictator game. Hundred percent. Uh, although he's got competition over here. Holy fuck. Uh, he kind of looks like a butch mom in the more current photo. Yeah, he's it's it's. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, is that Kevin McInnes' dad? <laughs> oh. Uh, Raul Castro ass chin. Yeah, it's, dude, this fucking, it's just a sod. I'm like, that's a sod, right? And I went and found the file really quickly and popped a sod. I'm like, it's a sod. A guy under a sod got some DSL. Hang on. Let's look. <laughs> I mean, I was moving them around, so, like, there we go. Nope, still remembers it. Good on him. Jesus Christ. Uh, which one are you talking about now, Poundcoin? Oh, uh, let's, let's just look for some DSL. Let's fuck in. Oh, Jesus Christ. I said, I just, right, right as you put it in chat, <laughs> pound coin. I was just going around. I'm like, let's just look for some dick sucking lips. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> we know what we're looking for. <laughs> He's got the duck. You don't let him hear that. I know. I know. He's one of them. Oh, mm. Mm. fucking a! Uh, this is who, who had a soccer club photo. Jesus Christ! <sighs> oh, Jesus, goddamn Christ! Some of these fucking dictators. Oh, I want to call it an early night though. What's up, and <laughs> Lady Antifa? Uh, let's see. After Sandhurst, Abdul, Abdul was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the British Army and served a year in Britain and West Germany as a troop commander in the 13th and 18th Royal Hussars. Abdul was admitted to the Pembroke College, Oxford, in 82, where he completed a one-year special studies course in Middle Eastern Affairs. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, you almost got pr chased by a proud boy today. Um, congratulations. What were you doing correctly with your life? Because anything that irritates a proud boy probably means you were doing something right. So, I'm glad you got away. I'm glad you didn't get hurt. But you know, that's what were you doing right? Um. Oh yeah. See, how'd I know? <laughs> how'd I know? You know. Yep. Here's uh. Here's Abdullah. He he always he was always super androgynous. Yeah. He's he's a difficult to read. Uh what is happening there? Alright. I just want to click the button for the love of FOD. Let me just click the button. Oh, yeah, we're 100%. We're going to call it early tonight. I need, like I said, I got a long fucking day ahead of me tomorrow. So we'll do, uh, we'll back to regular schedule tomorrow. Uh, daytime show, then bad movie night. If I can fucking stay up for it. Jesus, goddamn Christ. Um, I'll try and get sleep where I can get sleep. Um, but yeah, we'll figure out what we want to watch for bad movie night tomorrow. Um, God, this Tucker Carlson documentary needs to come out on <laughs> coin. Thanks for hanging out, man. Um, yeah, Ramsey. Nice to see you as always. Um, fucking Antifa. Sorry. Sorry to be raiding out just as you join in, but we're going over to uh, public loser. So, um, they're perfectly amicable and we'll be congratulating you as well. So. Follow on over if you so choose. Um, but yeah, they're they're a perfectly lovely human being, and I'm quite a fan of them. Um, but 
Yeah. We're going to call it early tonight. Uh, I might be on VC. Yeah, we'll see. I've got some cooking to do. So if you don't mind the cooking noises, I may be on VC if you want to do the post, post-show post chat. Um, either way. Um, take care of yourself, Athman. Take care of yourself, everyone who is here. Um, yeah. Tomorrow we may we may get some theory read done. We may do some Popo's Bizarre Adventures. We've got a bunch back up. We'll see. Peace.